Good morning, everybody. Dr. Dr. Vogel here, July 28th, 2021. Here's my quick COVID update. Yesterday, July 27th, uh, the United States hit 108,000 daily cases again. We're back up to 108,000 cases. Some people go, well, Dr. V, that's not right. It's only 60,000 cases. Dude, that's a seven day average. So, but if you, the day before um, that, it was like 88,000 cases. And yesterday was 108,000 cases. These are the real numbers. But Dr. V, that's cases. It's not hospitalizations. It's not death. Well, hospitalizations are still are going up. And thankfully, death has not gone up. Uh, but that's due to the fact that we, we have good treatments now. We, we have monoclonal antibodies. We know to treat with steroids. We know to, you know, not uh, intubate. We try to uh, put people in the prone position, all the stuff that it took us a year and a half to figure out about this virus. Now, why is this important? What I really want to talk about today is the Delta variant, because some, some people are still blowing up um, the uh, Delta, uh, I mean, like blowing off the Delta variant like it's no big thing. And I don't think the average person realizes this about the Delta variant. Now, the Delta variant um, is the one that ravaged India uh, a couple months ago, and India got up to almost 500,000 cases a day, and that's probably underreported, and, and their deaths were through the roof, and again, probably underreported because a lot of those people probably died at home. Now, why is this Delta variant so deadly, and um, why is it so contagious? Well, there's a new published report that came out uh, last week explaining the Delta variant, and here are some critical numbers that you need to know, right? Um, the first thing, point number one, the Delta variant um, is 1,000 times greater viral load. Now, why is this important? It's because we know that the viral load is what is um, what really needs to happen for someone to pass on the virus. So um, a viral load would be how much virus do you have in your respiratory tract uh, before having symptoms that when you cough or sneeze, I guess you're starting to get early symptoms early on in the disease process. Um, how much of that virus is in your nasal and respiratory and, and tract so that when you cough or sneeze, you catch it. Also, viral load is, is, um, is the person who you coughed, how big, uh, how many viruses is coming out and that they're exposed to. That's viral load, right? So there's kind of like two parts of it. How much is in the person who's carrying it and then how much the person is receiving um, when they're coming into contact with it. So it turns out the viral load for the Delta variant is 1,000 times higher than the wild type from the, the very first SARS-CoV-2, 1,000. That's point number one. Point number two on why Delta variant is much more contagious. New studies also show that the um, replication process for um, the uh, Delta variant uh, the SARS, the wild type, it's seven days. Who remembers this? In the early days of the pandemic, what we were showing, what, what was happening was like, if someone came into contact with um, the virus, they would went through what's called a latency period where they don't have symptoms because the virus is growing inside of them. And that latency period was seven days. And that's the whole thing about why you need to isolate for 14 days because it, it could be up to 14 days, but on the average was seven days. Who remembers this, right? So that was the start of uh, the pandemic. Well, they've studied the Delta virus, Delta variant now, and what they have found is the latency period has gone down from seven days in the wild type to four days. It's only four days in the Delta variant. So in other words, Something's happening with the Delta variant that it's replicating, uh, making copies of itself a lot faster and a lot more of it. So now people are um, spreading it faster. And that's why we need to take the Delta variant much more seriously. Well, Dr. V, what about vaccines? Well, today the vaccines 
um, are are working against the Delta variant. Now the efficacy might be decreasing a little bit, um, but but um, it's still much more effective. So the latest report is that you know 97% of hospitalizations are in the unvaccinated, which means 3% are in the vaccinated, so that's possible, and 99.5% of deaths are in the unvaccinated. 99.5% of deaths are in the unvaccinated. So it's possible to die because you hear the, these conspiracy people say, well, I know someone who had who got vaccinated and they died. Well, yeah, 0.5% compared to 99.5%. I'll take my chances. Now, here's the warning I need to give you, which is this. Um, eventually, if we don't quell this, and this is a global problem, um, we will develop new variants which are resistant to our current vaccines, which then we will have to get uh, regular vaccinations. You know, take your take take your pick. I choose to put odds in my favor, right? So my family, myself, we're all fully vaccinated. I have a five-year-old who can't be vaccinated. So part of it is we do this to protect her. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting uh, or helpful. Please share the video if you did, and let's spread the word. And I'll be back again tomorrow for another update. Thanks.